Hey everybody, this is Shirlene with Cheryl's Crafty World.com, a real store. Listen, a lot of you may have heard or know that uh, Bob's mom passed last Thursday. Her funeral is going to be this Thursday and Friday. Um, but Bob has a birthday on December 30th. And it's going to be his first birthday without his mom. And his mom was special. She's a card lady. She don't give you one card. She give you two cards all the time. And I know he's going to miss that. I can make him cards till the cows come home. He sees me every day. What I wanted to know, and this is not mandatory, is if my crafty family would reach out to Mr. Bob with a birthday card. He's going to be 68. And just let him know that there's love out there for him. And that we're remembering him in his time of sorrow. I would appreciate that if you guys could do that. I'll put the address. It's a P.O. box in the um, description where to send the card. Because we share. He he um, goes to my Cheryl's Crafty World P.O. box. He's, he's on there too because we're married. If anything happens to me, I want him to have access to it. So again, Mr. Bob has a birthday on December 30th this year. And it's rough having a birthday a week after Christmas. <laughs> a lot of times he said he would get his birthday and Christmas all in one. So, and he felt a little jilted. I know how that feels. My birthday's on Valentine's Day. Everybody's celebrating Valentine's Day. They ain't thinking about my birthday. So it's rough having a birthday on a holiday or around a holiday. But again, if you guys want to send Mr. Bob, Mr. Dot Com, a birthday card, anything, store bought, handmade, even just a letter to say, hey man, I'm thinking of you just during this time and, and, and praying for you would be helpful. Um, yeah, that's it. We love you guys. We're praying that you're blessed and you're safe and enjoy your holiday season. It's rough for me. It's my first holiday season without my mom. And, you know, we had traditions and so forth. And I still find myself wanting to call her when different life things happen, either for advice or just to share the information with her. And I got to stop myself. I reach for the phone and realize she's not there for you to call, Shirley. So it is rough. But um, I'm showing you Psalms 91, which is my favorite scripture. And in this time of sorrow, I'm pretty sure that God is holding both me and Bob. All right, you guys, we'll talk to you soon. Have a blessed day. Bye for now.